did it have? Like level 20 or 10? Five? Try level five. I was just on. Yeah, walk over to the right. There you go. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hi, Dina. Happening. Hello again. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm weirded out because I signed into the Zoom and then I'm not seeing the Parking Place Commission or the Traffic Safety Commission meeting. Like, you know, on the, when you log in. Yeah, see. but I'm, I'm definitely on it. Like I use, I use yeah, we're on it. I use the Zoom link. I, I've had that happen before. I don't know. No, because I mean, like, that's dangerous. Because like, if we're not seeing that stuff, like, that's what's on, the, the link is what, you know, like we, you got it from the yeah, agenda, you know? I so. did, I got it from the agenda. So okay. yeah, yeah, I just clicked on it. I clicked on it from Jen's email. Okay, yeah. So because that's where where we're at. <laughs> Weird. And it's doing, yeah, it's the settings are the same. We're recording now for the meeting minutes and the uh, and the uh, it's really just for the minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um let's see. Let me test drive and share agenda this one's gonna be a doozy Good. yeah i think just set it up as um let's use this meeting to set the agenda does yeah. that make we'll, yeah. we'll reset uh let's go yeah. through that and then kind of like then let oh, i'll take the lead and let them know um kind of give them a let them know that hey like it's been you know that there's a there's a lot of things going on in the city and we, you know in the interest of trying to you know provide adequate information to all of our commissions every once in a while we kind of struggle to put items on the agenda but you know like i think moving forward this is what staff is proposing to do yeah a monthly basis will include uh, updates for Instead of quarterly uh, uh, revenue updates from our downtown parking meters, including the garage, we'll do move that to a monthly um, update. We'll also and that will set an agenda every month. That means there will be yeah. At the very least, sense. we will have that item to discuss. And at the same time, we uh, with each um, with each agenda that we prepare, uh, we'll also send out uh, plannings. What, what do we call it the development like our project oh, the development the project um what do we call it active application list yeah 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 and we're available to answer questions so, about those projects you know high level high level, yeah, high like level. Not, yeah yeah so if there are any like specific questions from the commission about projects on that list you know then we'll we were we are the staff to talk to um, for other things where you know, public works is more involved in it, then we need the time to make sure that they um, plan for making a presentation or an update to mm -hmm. this commission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that would be, you know, on an informational basis. On an informational yeah. basis yeah. And, and just, we can say, um, you know, we can bring, as long as we have time to prepare, and that's what let's use, I think that's kind of to emphasize that like using these meeting oh we're recording do we want to be recording yeah let me pause okay <laughs> cool stop here but yeah i think the the action item jen would be to um reach out to marissa um because of the because now we're going to get have to access their platform for getting the revenue stuff um monthly so let's 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 uh, let's talk about that and reach out to her. Hermes, hello. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jolene. Jolene, you're on mute. Okay, there we go. I keep hitting unmute and it wasn't listening to me. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. We're doing all right. Good. Um, 
Jennifer, would would I uh, would you be the one I would um, send a question to about a previous meeting minutes? Or okay, oops, sorry. Uh, oh, yes, you could send that to me. Anything prior to when I started as clerk for the commission, I would have to reach out to Marissa and and get it from her because okay. before COVID or you know. In, in the before times, a lot of stuff was just kept separately by the clerks and not easily um, shared online, but I can track anything down that you need. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi Diana, hello. hello. All right, let me share this uh, to our uh, agenda. So as you've seen, uh, it's a little different agenda today, but uh, let's, okay. five o'clock, okay. we're all here, let's, let's get rolling. Okay, let's go, let's go start it. Uh, moment, I have, uh, I lost people, okay, now better, okay. Uh, the meeting of the South San Francisco Parking Place Commission for Tuesday, ap April 13, will please come to order uh, at 5.01. Uh, uh, please come to the order. Uh, roll call. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Malfatti. <laughs> We just caught you. Yeah, present. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Vice Chairperson Monzon. Here. Thank you. And Chairperson Abarca. Here. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mr. Secretary, are there any changes to the order of the agenda? Uh, no, uh, there are no changes to the agendas right now. Okay. Are there any public comments? No, we have not received any public comments and there is nobody here from the public uh, who has notified us that they wanted to participate. Okay. Approval of the meeting minutes of the regular meeting on March 9, 2021. Motion, please. I'll make a motion. Approve it. Second. Second. Okay, okay, I'll go ahead. Should I do a roll call for the uh, minutes? Yes. <clears throat> Let's do it. Okay. Uh, sorry, just to say, my screen blacked out for a second there. Okay. Uh, Vice Chairperson Monzon? Yes. Commissioner Malfatti? Yes. And Chairperson Abarca? Yes. Okay, thank you. Items from the staff? Right, so as you've seen, there are no specific items today for, um, we didn't have anything informational or anything like that to include in this agenda. We were, um, as, as you you may or may not know, there's, there's a lot of things going on in the city. There's a lot of projects going on so um and there's actually we are in between um things uh in terms of like where projects are and where things should be so um we what we wanted to do uh, so so just to clarify it's been sometimes a little bit difficult to put something onto the parking place commission's agenda um but uh so we wanted to try something different uh, and what we are uh, in with Adina's help, like we've kind of uh, figured out what's a good path forward so that we do have something to talk about in these meetings and it would be it provide us for, of some value uh, moving forward. So what we are proposing to do is actually um, our quarterly updates on on uh, parking meter revenues. Um, we're gonna move that to a monthly update just so we can keep track of that on a monthly basis, given that, you know, things are, we especially wanna kind of pay attention to that given that, um, you know, things are changing uh, 
rapidly with the pandemic. Things are improving. Um, and I don't know if you've driven down the freeways lately, but traffic is back. So it serves to say like, and we've, we've have heard those comments before um, uh, from commissioners in the, in the past that like, well, you know, we have to then keep track of like these um, pandemic related things that we did, like, you know, outdoor dining uh, and, and things like that and make sure that, you know, we account for now, like going back to normal because, and to craft a path forward for that. So, uh, First step, we'll, we'll make sure that the parking meter revenue is something that we update the commission on uh, monthly. And then second is that because I know that there's been uh, uh, questions about certain projects and it's always a little bit more difficult to corral projects that uh, myself, Adina, Jen, or relatively like with economic and community development, um, or, you know, projects that happen outside of our our department and division, it's a little bit uh, difficult sometimes to corral that information on a, a fairly quick basis. Um, so we wanna make sure that um, one for us, the planning, uh, the planning division staff provides the commission with our, um, our development project list that we update frequently so that you have that and we'll send that out with our agendas every month so that you are aware of the projects at least our division and our planning division and economic and community development are actively working on, and we can, you know, speak to those projects. Um, and and at the same time, when we get to um, the items from the commission part of the agenda, we'll then use that time to kind of craft what's going to go on next month's agenda. So, and that way, you, you know, commissioners that have uh, specific, you know, uh, interest in certain projects as long as that, that, you know, that's something that is of interest, um, then it's something that we can, you know, corral staff in the next like weeks after that and bring them to that next, uh, you know, commission meeting. So that's uh, what we're proposing to do. So let me know if anybody has comments on that and actually throw it over to Adina if, there, if there's anything I missed. Thanks, Chris. Hi, everybody. I'm Adina Friedman, Principal Planner with the Planning Division. Um, thank you. I think that was a great overview. I mean, I think what we really want to make sure, um, sorry, I'm not on mute. No, okay. Um, I, I think we just want to make sure that we have a forum um, to bring informational items as they come up. Um, obviously, we can bring the parking um, revenue report every month. So we'll always have an agendaized action item. And then we can, um, you know, hear from the commission and make sure that we can have enough time and to have time to put together um, relevant information to bring back the next month. So that was kind of the structure that we're looking at going forward. So yeah, I just really just kind of repeated what Chris said. Um, but yeah, I'd say just like, let us, you know, kind of let's start from there and let us know if you have questions or if you think this will work moving forward. With that, let's move to items from commission just so we can deliberate okay. on this. Yeah. Okay, items from the commission. Any? Yes, uh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Adina. Uh, uh, the overview is uh, awesome. Thank you. It looks like there uh, will be more, uh, more opportunities that we can be engaged. Uh, thank you for doing that. Um, so uh, let's see if I understood. Uh, so we can, on, on this, on the items from the commission, um, we can uh, make a comment. And then if, if we don't have the information, we can craft it, we can come back, right? So um, I have a few um, comments uh, that, you know, that are being encountered, some of the neighbors. on the 200 uh, Linden on the new building. Uh, we used to have parking meters right there, probably at least four in that section. And um, uh, if, if we can find out uh, just the way it's designed now, it looks like there's some board bouts. Are we planning to have uh, at least two meters? So what is the plan? That would be one question. Uh, the other one is, um, uh, 
uh, if we can please uh, get an update on the uh, lot uh, 15 and 17 that they will close on March 26. Um, a lot of people, not, they're not aware or some people forgot. Um, so, you know, I kind of have an idea, but it'd be great for us to at least have a little bit more details. Uh, so at least we can, you know, uh, pass along the information. Uh, third, third would be, uh, let's see my list. Uh, I know the, the second garage downtown was moved. Um, so when that is addressed, I think at the end of the Commissioner Manjan, can you hear us? You're frozen right now. I'm back? Yeah, you're back. Okay. Please um, go ahead. Repeat okay. what you just said. Okay. I was saying the third item would be the, if, if, um, if we could please um, get some more information on the garage number two for downtown. Um, I know that I think Chris, you said that it was just move a little bit of the date. Just to keep it on your books, please. And one more um, on the phase two on Linden Avenue. Uh, what is the progress and how is um, looking? Um, this this comment will be more um, uh, probably for the traffic, but I want to mention and I can mention again on the on the traffic and safety. Um, it looks like. Uh, I can, we can see a difference between phase one and two. I think that this construction company is more agile. It looks like there is more action, right? Um, but, um, and uh, for example, in the corner of California, uh, all kind of safety around it. Uh, but if, if um, there was a, an old lady that she actually went all the way inside and then this whole, she didn't know what to do. So we help her to go around. Just a, a suggestion uh, to create a, you know, an, an, an alternative um, for the pedestrians. Um, I think it was great as far as not go, don't go in, but maybe uh, either left or right, so, some sort of a sign or um, just kind of like extra for some people that not reading or you know, all of a sudden they're in the middle of the ball about area, just a comment. Right. Uh, for that one, uh, Commissioner Manzan, let's bring it up more in more detail at traffic safety. Like I think that because yeah, that we've we've covered that. So let's let's bring it up again. Uh, um, I'll take I'll take notes, but I want it. I want you to uh, bring it up and say I want that on the agenda for traffic safety in May because that's completely yeah, appropriate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Other comments, Chris. Comment, Jolene. No. Okay. Do I have to adjourn the meeting? Uh, not okay. yet. If there are are there other comments and questions on our path forward, or, or is everybody comfortable with that? Yes, I was just curious. Is there um, going to be an extension on those parklets for quite some time, or are they going to slowly fade away? Um, the idea is that they, um, we first have to get to either that, the, that state tier or tier list yeah, where everything is open. Let's, uh, the, right now we're looking at it as June 15. That's what the governor said that where everything goes back to normal if that, but there's no, there's not a lot of details on that. So what we're trying to figure out was, does that mean 100% capacity back indoors in these restaurants? Um, if, if so, then, you know, then of course, then what triggers us into the phase out of the temporary outdoor dining pilot is that from the, the, the time we set and we'll communicate this with our businesses, let's say June 15, then there's uh, 60 days from that where they have to start removing the, you know, any, any platforms or, or uh, spaces that they have created. And then we'll, and then after that 60 day, days, then we'll start um, collecting those barriers. That's the Thank plan. And 
as we've known this entire year, that uh, has never gone according to any kind of plan. So we'll see. And Murphy's law has. Right, exactly. Yeah. OK, I have a question. Uh, what will happen if we will go again to the same situation in the fall? Like uh, that maybe they will have like a 60 days. It will be September, but maybe November, October, we will be in the same situation. Are we going again back to the same program? Yes. Yeah, we, we, we would then go back to council and ask if we want to institute you know, the, the program again, um, because right now it's just this pandemic response and things have changed, you know, drastically with vaccines and things opening up into different degrees. Um, it's something that we'll, we'll bring, bring back to the Parking Place Commission because we then would have to act again on, on the parking meters if we were gonna allow this program to, you know, go back. There's a lot of lessons learned uh, from staff side uh, with how, yeah. um, businesses have used these spaces and how they've not used these spaces. So we're gonna be, we have a lot more information on what we want out of a second version of this program. But again, like we'll, we'll see, like uh, hopefully we don't have to do any more shutdowns in the fall, but um, you know, like we'll, we will see, that's our operative word. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, please. Anybody else, any items? No. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Okay, so just to confirm for our May meeting, we're gonna um, uh, try to figure out what's going on with those parking meters, uh, the spaces in front of 200 Linden. Uh, we'll get an update from uh, the projects going on at lot or what has happened to after the, what's gonna happen after the closures of uh, lot 15 and 17. Um, and then the parking garage number two uh, information on that. And actually, I did have information a little bit on parking garage number two. April 20th is the special session of uh, city council where that is going to be coming back to um, for review. Um, so once that agenda is out, we'll we'll send that over to you to um, uh, so you can if, if you want to get that firsthand information, we'll make, you know, listen into city council. Uh, but for May, if our staff is, is, a, is ready to bring it to uh, Parking Place Commission, we'll have them come here and tell us about it. Thank you. Okay, great. Now we can adjourn. Now we can. <laughs> okay. The meeting is now adjourned at uh, 5.15 p.m. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll see you at the next one in Thank a you. few minutes. Thank Can we you. Have reconnected right away, please. Yes. Yeah. Let me or, or take take five minutes. I didn't think we'd get through this, you know, itemless agenda in like fifteen minutes. So take take like five minutes. Then we'll we'll start it up. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.